grade drilling method, page 12. This will be part one, and we're going to do exercise one and two. You guys will do number one for homework, and we are going to do two, three, and four together to classify. Our quarterback zigzagged through Central's team and raced for a touchdown. Who zigzagged through Central's team and raced for a touchdown? Subject down. What is being said about quarterback? A preposition, right? Oh, yeah. What? Team. Team. Object of the preposition. Central is what? For whose team? This is central, and that's a possessive noun adjective, right? Because it has an apostrophe S. Oh, it looks like we have and race. So do we forget a verb? Yep. So this is a compound verb, so we have to make sure we make this one a compound verb, and and becomes a conjunction, right? For? Preposition. Preposition. For what? A. Article. Article. Adjective. Who's quarterback? Our. Our. It's an adjective, but it's a special one. A possessive pronoun adjective. Pattern, subject, noun, linking, verb, pattern, one, check. Oh, sorry, just verb. We'll get to those, though, in a different pattern. Okay, what is, um, so, through Central's team? Through Central phrase, or a touchdown? Very good. Go so back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? No, this is in the natural or inverted order. Natural. Turn off the stove in the kitchen. Who needs to turn off the stove in the kitchen? You, the. What is being said about you? Turn. Verb. Okay. Um, off. Preposition is one of the 49, right? Turn off what? The article in. In what? The pattern. Check. Okay, off the stove. In the kitchen. Period. It's not a statement, it's a command, so it's an imperative sentence. Go back to the verb, divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. Before turn. Is there an adverb exception? No, because we don't even have one, right? Is this in the natural or inverted order? Natural. Were the animals frightened by the storm yesterday? Who were frightened by the storm yesterday? What is being said about the animals? Okay, this one is a verb phrase. Frightened by the storm. Were frightened, right? Were is a helping verb, and frightened is the verb. By? By what? Or, or by when? Oh, no, 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 not, that's not right, it was storm, and then the is the, and then when was the storm? Yesterday, Yesterday. that's an adverb, the answer is when, the is the pattern, okay. Um, by the storm, yet, or by the storm, right? Okay. It, um, question mark. Go back to the verb. Divide the complete subject from the complete predicate. 
Is there an adverb exception? Yes. No. No, because it's in with the predicate, right? Okay. But is this is a natural or inverted word? Natural. Inverted, right? Because you have a verb in with the subject, right? Okay. So we underline word twice. The animals once, and then Frank by the storm yesterday. Okay. Exercise two. Underline the correct homonym in each sentence. So homonyms sound the same, okay, but are spelled differently and have a different um, meaning, right? So we are fourth in line. Which one would it be? The second. The second. And I know it's the second line, but I really like you guys to circle because it makes it easier for me to tell for you. There is not enough paint. Which is there? First. First, right? The second is ownership, right? And then the next one is they are pulled apart. She starts date for the main course. The second. The other one is like a texture, right? Okay, it's like rough. Okay. And then you guys will do four, five, and six for homework today. All right, that's the end of part one for page 12.